Hello everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor, have another shave of the day, and today we're going to be doing Heritage Hills John Paul Jones. It's a wonderful scent. Mm, it's a their version of the bay rum. So you got uh, bay rum with teakwood, cedar, patchouli, and uh, bergamot. Yeah, bergamot. Yeah. So this has got, you can definitely smell that. Uh, the bay rum with uh, hints of uh, wood aspect and then you get that um, citrus coming across it kind of like the lime bergamot style come lathered up yeah definitely you can smell all that pretty strong too nice little scent and then today we're going to be using the Gillette Perma Sharps with a Gillette Fat Boy 1960 there we go. Okay, hope everybody's day is going good. Mine kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do, right? Some days just worse than others. <clears throat> but hey, you know, you just be honest about it. Not that it's like health-wise or anything. It's car-wise. That's why. That's why my day sucks. Uh... Currently, the vehicle's in the shop. The one that I always talk about that has the problem with the transmission. Well, yeah. We're in a bit of a pickle right now. The uh, typical problem that always happens with it happened. And you bring it in to get it serviced, and they go, well, yeah, yeah we know it's that problem. For like the 10th or 11th time it's been in for it. And they uh, gave us a run around the boat. Uh, it'll cost you around $3,000 to get it worked on. Like it's covered under the lifetime thing from Ford. Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe not. But, and so we called up the uh, warranty place, at, you know, from Ford and talk to them they said, oh yeah you're covered and uh but you got to provide the information documentation now it's like they want three thousand layers of documentation to get through it to get service work done for no expense to us so so we got all that taken care of and then they say well we have a problem. I'm like, okay, what's the problem? The parts needed are not in production because the plant that makes them has been shut down. So all the stock of parts that were made are not are gone. So nothing. And we're looking at six to 12 months before we even see anything possibly it's like right now we're saying six months before they even start production on making the parts and then that could be another six months before they even get to the states and we're like uh what does that mean well we got about 20 something cars sitting in the back lot in the same predicament so, well we can let you know when the parts come in otherwise you're just you got a lump of junk that in the back so and we can live for the most part with one vehicle which my wife will have to be driving mine, but it's highly inconvenient. Not having two vehicles. And not to mention putting all the extra miles on my truck, which isn't the best of um, when it comes to gas mileage. It's about 16, 18 miles to the gallon. And the gas prices last night were at three ninety nine a gallon. 
So I typically only drive my truck maybe once or twice a week and not very far at that. And now when you're talking about putting lots of miles, yeah, it's like <sighs> a lot of money being forked out in fuel. while we wait for this vehicle. So we're weighing our options. They did say that if the worst comes to worst, they will buy it, maybe buy the vehicle from us. And then we can use the money to get another one. And they'll just, when the parts come in, then fix it. But it's one of those deals where You're inconvenient while you're trying to figure out what's going on. And my one friend, he's like, well, if you just buy a Joker, be done with it. Like, and you can spend $2,000, $3,000 on a vehicle and then it lasts four months and it blows and detonates and then what do you, you know, you're out of money too. So... <sighs> Can't seem to win right now. I don't know. But hey, the shave is good. There you go. It's Heritage Hill stuff, man. This is good stuff. I really like it. Probably added a wee bit too much water to it today. It's a little slightly thin, but it's still got slickness. Very sharp, so working good. That's what matters. I was talking with my son and about shaving, and he's like, I don't like shaving at all. The only reason I do it is because I have to do it for work. And I don't want to have to wear those little hair nets around my where I got a beard. And I'm like, dude. Keep telling him. It's like you need to learn how to shave with a classic shaving. It's like I got the Raiders I can loan you on. I even give you one of mine. I wouldn't even be willing to give him one of the, my grandfather's readers. Maybe the slim. And a year supply of blades. <laughs> but he's just like, that's too much work. He has a severe case of lazyitis. Well, he hasn't he been a kid. one of those things where if he's interested in, in school when he was going through high school he'd get an A just hand down A but he had a bad case of um, not willing to put the effort in let's just put it that way he barely squeaked by through school and all of his teachers like he's smart he's so smart he's intelligent he knows all like in class you know they always said you know it's like when we want to know what the answer is something he would call on me no but he's just too lazy to put it down on paper <laughs> like i know you know it's like he could take a test ace it but do his homework and document his homework? Nope. He went to it. He's like, oh, that's just too much work. Kind of a sign of the high intelligence, I guess. It's too lazy. It's too easy. My daughter is, is the same, except she was highly driven. She would do everything she could to get the A and then beyond that, which is probably why she was a, 
valedictorian of her school. It was like the largest school in our state, and she was the valedictorian of it. So, yeah, she was apply herself. And there's a reason why she's a engineer working out the Facebook uh, buildings. This Facebook has a local hub here for services. And she's in charge of, she's 24 and she's in charge of putting the buildings up. Like, that's what we call highly motivated. High speed load drag, as they like to say in the military. So, I don't know if anybody has kids, but every single one of them is different. We'll have our different ways of wanting to do things with their likes, dislikes, motivation. <laughs> it's like my son. Right now, he's highly motivated and with, uh, I call it Magic the Gathering cards. It's like I broke out. It's like I played Magic when I was a youngster his age. And. I guess I was a little older than he is now, but yeah, I guess it was came out when I was 28, but he's 28. And he was like, I got all these cards are worth, uh, this one's worth like $10, this one's worth like $40. I'm like, really? Okay. So I broke out my st stuff that I had from way back in the day. And sure, it's like, so I mean, how about this card? And he looked it up and he's like, holy. <laughs> he's like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, you could buy a card. You can buy a new car for that card. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, maybe I should sell it. <laughs> but it seemed like a waste. So I just promptly took all those cards and put them back in the safe. I'm like, eh, they go back inside. Another good investment. I suppose I should really seriously think about how to get rid of them. Pay some bills off. I had them. Two sets of, actually complete sets of this game and back in the day and I thought I was selling them off for like two grand a box. Thought I was making a lot of money nowadays. This one card out of that set can go for $40,000. Like, holy crud. But, man, it's funny. Somebody left the money that want to buy this stuff. Uh, these things are, yeah, it's been out 30, 30 years ago. Come on, it doesn't seem like all that long ago. 30 years, man. We got right there. All right, we be done.
Excellent soap. Did the job. Excellent combination between the razor too. Oh, there we go. A little bit of old spice. Since we have citrus and cedar in the soap, it's a nice addition. This would be one of those um, scents that from Heritage Hill. It's like all three of the ones I have. I just love the scents of them. They'd make great uh, splashes too if they ever got around to figuring out how to make splashes. It'd be a nice addition. So I'd use them on a regular basis. Okay, that shave. All right, that's John Paul Jones from Heritage Hill. Great soap, man. Nice slickness, nice scent. I always love it. So far, everything from Heritage Hills I've found is great. And they got a couple more coming out. So I have to pick those up and just see how, what that's all about. And the shave of the day was... Oh, we're upside down. There we go. Perm Sharps from Gillette with a Gillette Fat Boy. This was my dad's razor. And I'm happy to keep using it. Yep. It's like getting the old... Uh, uh, family history keep going all right so that was shave of the day hope you guys like it like and subscribe share it to friends and we'll see you in the next one rusty out